Hello gamers and welcome to the Hapog Gaming Tutorial Series. I'm your host Fallen Frog and in this series of videos we're going to cover everything that you need to know about recording gameplay with the HD PBR. So let's get to it. For this lesson we're going to look at the phenomenon of Twitch and live streaming which can also be done through Hapog Capture. So make sure you have the latest version downloaded and installed onto your computer already. If you don't have it, you can get that here at hapog.com slash capture. Sony and Microsoft got behind the live streaming scene in a big way when they launched their latest consoles with the ability to stream gameplay directly to Twitch. Now anyone can become a Twitch streamer overnight. While this is great for someone who has never streamed or made gameplay videos before, it also means that there are a lot of channels out there that look identical to one another. You see, Everyone using an Xbox One or PS4 is limited to the Twitch integration that comes with the console. It's certainly a nice feature to have, but with an HD PBR at your disposal, you can get so much more out of your stream. Remember back in Lesson 1 when I mentioned complete control over your videos? The same thing applies to live streams. Even something as simple as a personal logo can make all the difference in the world. So. Let's start streaming with the HD PBR. Included for free in a POG capture is a streaming service called StreamEase. This service is completely free to you and even allows you to stream directly to your choice of Twitch, Ustream, or even YouTube. You will notice the same familiar video and audio input settings as well as the microphone input. These work the same as they do on the capture tab. Below that though is the stream quality slider. This works just like the video quality slider and will depend on your own internet upload speed. You will want a faster upload speed if you want to be taken as a serious streamer. Finally, we come to the service, channel, and location settings. This is where you specify which service you will stream to. I am personally already on Twitch, so we will focus on that one for this lesson, but each of these is relatively the same. When you select the Twitch service from the drop down box, you will then need to select login from the channel box. You will see a dialog box pop up asking you to log in to your Twitch account. Once you log in, you should see your channel name in the channel below. The last space is for location. Pick the spot on the list that is closest to where you will be streaming from. This is how Hapog Capture will know which Twitch server to stream to. After your channel is all set up, you are ready to go live. So, just click the start device button. Now you are ready to use your HD PBR as a streaming device. When you hit start streaming, you will go live to the channel you selected earlier. When you are finished, just hit stop streaming to end the broadcast. It's that simple. Well, that's going to do it for this lesson. In the next video, I'm going to show you a simple setting to make editing your footage with commentary even easier. It's called multi-track recording. You can go ahead and click on the preview at the right for that lesson now. I'm Fallen Frog from Apog Gaming. Remember to like and subscribe if this video helped you, and thanks for watching.